Little Red Riding Hood and the Dragon, written by Ying Chang, Kompenstein. Read by Mr. C, the teacher. By now, you have probably heard the old folk tale about a girl in a red cape. She and her grandmother were gobbled up by a wolf, but were rescued by a woodsman. The truth is that the tale took place here in China. There wasn't a woodsman, and I, the gentle wolf, certainly was not the one who ate them. Here is the real story. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl in a village near the Great Wall. When her grandma, Nai Nai, sewed her a red silk hood for her kung fu performances, she loved it so much that she wore it everywhere. People began to call her Little Red Riding Hood, or Little Red. One day, Little Red and her mother heard that Nai Nai was sick. They gathered herbs and cooked a pungent soup. Then they baked a big sweet rice cake. Her mother put the soup and cake into a basket and said, Take this to Nai Nai, stay on the path, and don't talk to strangers. Don't worry, Mummy. Little Red drew her sword and leaped into a flying back kick. I'm a good kung fu fighter. I can protect myself. She picked up the basket and ran out of the house. Little Red stayed on the path and soon saw her grandmother's house in the distance. Suddenly, a dragon blocked her way. Where are you going, little girl? Dragon asked in a sweet voice. To my grandma's, she answered. Where does she live? There, she pointed at a red house in the shadow of the great wall. Dragon moved closer. What's in your basket? A rice cake and herbal soup for my sick grandma. Be you. Is that awful smell coming from the soup? Dragon pinched his nose and stepped back. Yes, but it will help her get better, said Little Red. That smelly soup will only make her sicker, <laughs> laughed Dragon. You know what would make your grandma better? Ginseng. My mother and I looked for it, but we couldn't find any. Well, there's a big ginseng root under that old tree. Dragon pointed to the forest. Oh, thank you. I must get it for my grandma. Little Red forgot what her mother had told her and ran off the path. Meanwhile, Dragon hurried to Nine Eye's house and knocked on the door. Is that you? My little red riding hood. Uh, yes, Nai Nai, said Dragon in a high-pitched voice. Come in, my dear. I am too weak to get up. Dragon burst into the house. Without a word, he leaped over to Nai Nai and swallowed her whole. Then he put on one of her nightgowns and caps and slid under the bed covers. When little red reached Nai Nai's house, she was surprised to find the door half open. Nai Nai, she called out. Who is it? asked a hoarse voice. It's me, Little Red. I brought you something special. Oh, my dear. Uh, come in, come in. In the dark room, Little Red saw Nai Nai's nightcap peeking out of the blankets on the bed. Nai Nai, what happened to your voice? Oh, my dear, I'm... I'm sick with a sore throat. I dug a ginseng root for you. It will help you get better. Oh, my dear. A large hand reached for the ginseng. Nai Nai, what large hands you have. Oh, my dear, all the better to hold you with. And Nai Nai, what big eyes you have. Oh, oh, my dear, all the better to see you with. And Nai Nai, what big teeth you have. Oh, my dear. All the better to eat you with. Dragon gobbled up Little Red and her basket and topped it off with the ginseng. 
Little Red slid down the dragon's throat and landed on something soft. Nine Eye, shouted Little Red. Oh no, he ate you too, cried Nine Eye. Don't cry, Nine Eye. Little Red hugged her grandma. Look at everything he has gobbled up. Little Red rummaged through the piles in Dragon's tummy. How will we get out of here? Sobbed Nine Eye. You rest, Nine Eye. I have an idea. Little Red pulled a yo-yo from the heap, twirled it, and flung it high. The yo-yo bounced off of Dragon's stomach above her head. Dragon yelped, eyes wide open in surprise. Taking the ribbons in her hands, Little Red spun around, drawing circles in the air. The soft silk tickled Dragon's belly, making him quiver and gasp for breath. Little Red blew on a soona as hard as she could, while Nine Eye pounded on a drum. Dragon was so startled that he covered his ears and ran out of the house. And then Little Red did her very best kung fu moves. Axe kicks, crescent kicks, and roundhouse kicks. Dragon roared in pain. Little Red splashed the herbal soup around. Dragon's tummy churned like a wild sea. He gagged and retched, and then up came the soup, along with the yo-yo, ribbons, musical instruments, Nine Eye, and at last, Little Red Riding Hood, sword in hand. Little Red jumped up in front of Dragon and ordered, "Scram!" And Dragon did. To this day, Dragon stays far away from girls in red capes. I know, because I saw it firsthand. Now, that's the real story. I don't know how people ended up with a silly folktale that gave me, the gentle wolf, a bad reputation. <laughs>